All right, number 10 is chilling. We got a couple formulas, but basically plug and chug. So a wheel, which is, I'm gonna put 10 here. Uh, a wheel, which is at rest, gains an angular velocity of 12.6 uh, radians or rads per second when it rotates through 10 revolutions. Its angular acceleration is closest to, and see there's the closest to thing, there's not an exact answer, probably say something like that. Anyway, this stuff, right? We're gonna need to know a couple things. So first, let's deal with this, which is at rest and gains an angular velocity of 12.6 rads per second. Something was at rest, right? So if we're talking about angular velocity, this is the symbol. And if it was at rest, that means that this was zero. Right? I could deduce that from the first part. Then it says uh, it gains an angular velocity of that. So that must mean that angular velocity final is 12.6 rad per second, whatever that means, right? When it rotates through 10 revolutions, that one threw me off. I was like, what? But there's a formula to convert it. So this is probably the only part you really have to um, know or memorize yourself you got the number of revolutions is equal to theta over 2 pi okay so i think this is the only thing you might actually need to know for this problem that'll throw you off but other than that pretty straightforward so we got that this coming up next because it says it rotates through 10 revolutions so we're going to put the number of revolutions on this side. We got theta and 2 pi. I'm going to put the 2 pi on this side. 10 equal theta. So now we got theta is equal to 62.8 degrees. Perfect. What do I do with that? So look on your formula sheet, and you should see um, this equation here, which is for angular frequency is angular frequency final is equal to the angular frequency initial plus two angular acceleration and theta okay i have some videos on how to derive these but for this look for an equation that has the maximum number of things that you have you have the, this you know this and you have theta this is perfect because what they're asking for is its angular acceleration which is this one Right, this is velocity, this is acceleration, angular. And so in this equation here, we got this is zero, right? This is 12.6, so I'm gonna write 12.6 squared is equal to zero. Um, so then we have two angular acceleration and theta, which is 62.8. All right, and I think this is in rads, it's not degrees, so. It doesn't matter for you because the units will will work out. They're not going to make you convert the degrees, but 62.8 and we're going to divide these two on out to this side. We got 12.6 squared over 2 times 62.8 and all that in the lovely calculator, we got 1.26 rads per second squared angular acceleration. All right, so this is unitless here because the rads per second comes from this part here, but it might be rad, so cancels one of those. Either way, we have rads per second squared. This is squared because this one's an acceleration. The velocity one will say um, just seconds on the bottom. Okay, so 1.2, we got C. So just know this, the conversion, how to deduce what you have into you know variables that you can use for something like this. Cause I think there's another equation you can also use, but this one's faster, so, all right.